So hello and welcome to this lesson in our study of differential equations one. So this is going to be the first lesson in our study of differential equations one. And mostly when we are beginning to study a course, we try to introduce the course to you. So this first lesson is going to introduce to you differential equations. Why should you learn differential equations? What is a differential equation? And what do we mean by an independent variable? Independent variable and a parameter. Then we also solve some questions, okay? So, why should you study differential equations? You know, many laws governing natural phenomena are relations, and they involve rates as where things happen. That's the derivatives. And you know, equations containing derivatives are called differential equations. So to be able to investigate problems in these kind of phenomena which involve changes, like fluid mechanics, circuit design, heat transfer, population, or conservation biology, you need to know something about differential equations. Okay, and differential equations, ha um, they have a lot of applications, and such is very, very important to study and understand them. Okay. So what is a differential equation? You know, a differential equation is an equation which involves one or more derivatives or differentials of an unknown function. So you see, um, from our basic school, we have been solving linear equations. So you can have a linear equation of this form. And when you have it of this form, we see that x is unknown, right? But you can solve for x you realize that x is 1. So this is a linear equation, the basic equations we are solving when we were in basic school. So when it comes to differential equations, so we have an equation, and we have an unknown function. But the unknown function occurs in a derivative. Okay, So these are examples of differential equations. So here we have dy dx equals 3x squared. And here, the unknown function is the y. And you can see that the y is contained in what? A derivative. That's what makes this a differential equation. So that means when you just have y equals 3x squared, this here is not a differential equation. But when you have the unknown function being contained in a derivative, then we have a differential equation. So we get it. So example two is also a differential equation because the unknown function here is x. And this x is appearing under what um, derivative signs, all right, differentiation signs. And this here is also a differential equation. So you can see the first two examples, we had ordinary derivatives. In the third example, we are having partial derivatives. Okay, so all these are differential equations. Look at the definition. It's an equation which involves one or more derivatives or differentials of an unknown function. Okay. All right, so we have given examples of differential equations. But every differential equation contains certain parts. And we would want to differentiate between those parts and know which of them is this and which of them is that. So we are going to do that at this stage, OK? So a typical differential equation has a dependent variable, independent variable or variables, depending on the type of differential equation it is. So later on, you will get to know that if it contains just one independent variable, then it is an ordinary differential equation. If it contains two or more, then it is a partial differential equation, okay? 
So it has dependent variable, independent variables, and it has a parameter. So a dependent variable is um, in a variable that is called the dependent if a derivative of that variable occurs in the equation. So that is the dependent, okay? Now we will explain them with examples and the understanding will be clearer, okay? And the independent variable. So when an equation involves one or more derivatives with respect to a particular variable, then that variable is called the independent variable, okay? Then the parameter is just a variable for which the range of possible values identifies a collection of distinct cases in a problem. So that is the definition of what a, a parameter is in mathematics, okay? So we are going to solve this problem here. And that is going to help us understand everything that we are talking about, okay? So the, the question says we have to identify the independent variables the dependent variables and the parameters in the given differential equations. So you can see we have five differential equations here. And from these five, we are supposed to identify in each of them the dependent variable, the independent variable and the parameters, okay? So we are going to solve that. So let's take the first one. So you see the first one, we can see that y is the dependent variable because it is a function that we are taking the derivative of, right? So y is the dependent variable here. And we are taking the derivative of y with respect to what? x. So that means x here becomes the independent variable, okay? So in this differential equation, we only have two variables, y and x. And y is the dependent and x is the independent. So, and it doesn't have any parameter. So for the first, our dependent variable is y, independent is x. Then it doesn't have any parameter. Let's go to the second one. So you see with the second one, we have the r dt plus k r equals zero. And I hope you know that r will be the dependent because it follows the same explanation to the first one. Then t will be the independent. But in this case, can you see we have a certain k here? So that k becomes the parameter, okay? So k is a parameter. So let's fill it here. So R, T, and K. Then with the third one, you see we have del V, del squared V, del squared V here. So you can see that in all the cases, we are taking the derivatives of what? V. So that means V is the dependent variable. And we are taking the derivative of V with respect to what? T x and what y so here we have three independent variables okay those are t x and y so these are the independent variables and our h will be the parameter so we have v t x y and h this is very simple okay so let's look at the fourth one can you pause the video and do that so that you compare with the answer we'll get. So in three, two, one. Okay, let's solve it. So here to I hope you understand that I will be the dependent variable, right? And T, because we are differentiating I with respect to T, only T. So T will be the independent. Then everything else will be the parameter. So L is a parameter, R is a parameter, C 
is a parameter, right? Hmm. Then this thing here is just the non homogeneous part. So this was I T I C I think so. Then with the last one with the last one. <laughs> I hope you know the dependent variable is y, right? The independent is x. I hope you are getting it. We have two parameters here, m and h. So we can write it y, x, m and what? h. So that's it. So in this video, you have been, you have been introduced to differential equations. You were just told the reason why you should study differential equations and its applications. And you consider it has vast applications. Right? It has a lot of them in solving real world problems. Then you learned what a differential equation is and the examples. When you have a differential equation, how do you identify the dependent variable, the independent variable, and the parameters in them? And that's what we just did in our introductory lesson. So in the next lesson, which is lesson two, we are going to learn how to classify differential equations, okay? All right, so I'm Boydo Kanrein of a final year student of mathematics, KNUSD. Please don't forget to like the video and please subscribe to the channel for more videos. So see you in the next lesson.